And as Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark it, uh, polio, or mark rather, Polio Day, survivors have urged the government to provide job opportunities to those living with it. Plus TV Africa's Ngozika Ohai JC has more in this report. Polio is a virus that may cause paralysis and is easily preventable by the use of vaccines. It is transmitted through contaminated water, food, or contact with an infected person. 24th of October every year is set aside to highlight global efforts towards a polio-free society. Meet Ufama Egwamuno, a polio survivor, and the head of news at the Cool Wazobia Nigeria Info FM Lagos State. He shares his story and the challenges he has been through as a survivor. I wasn't born this way. Um, a month before my third birth birthday, um, I had high fever. My mom took me to the hospital, you know, of course, to treat and all of that. I was given injection. Uh, I slept off almost immediately, took me home. She was in the kitchen cooking. And um, I woke up from sleep some hours later. She asked me to come. I stood up from the bed, wanted to walk to her, I fell. So, but to cut the long story short, that was the last time I walked with my legs. It's been challenging, you know, growing up and realizing that you're a little different from the rest of your peers, you know, having to go to school and uh, people are staring at you. No, I wasn't born with a silver spoon, so there was no car carrying me. I had to walk to school. You know. In fact, I was carried to school at first, nursery. Um, school uh, until I started using the crutches. Ufama commends the government for their efforts towards eradicating polio in Nigeria, but urges them to provide job opportunities for polio survivors in the country. The government can, in a way, um, find a way to, if possible, reserve certain job opportunities so that persons with disabilities, you know, like myself, could, all, could find it a lot um, easier. Just as Nigeria was declared polio-free last year, Dr. Raymond Iloanzi believes that the country is not fully free from the virus. According to Dr. Raymond, the government should assign three days every six months for polio vaccination across the country, as that method will completely eradicate the virus from Nigeria. Both communities plan ahead with those community heads. Do you understand that, hey, so and so day we are coming, we are going to vaccinate people, bring everybody. We are going to teach them, not only vaccination. Do you understand? If they bring out maybe a day or three days, you understand, in, in six weeks, maybe in, in six months, bring three days for vaccination. In six months, bring three days for vaccination. It's not a big deal. Before you know it, Nigeria will take it as a religion to vaccinate for polio. The best strategy to eradicate polio is preventing infection by immunizing every child until transmission stops. To the survivor, disability is a thing of the mind. You can be anything you want to be. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohai Chesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.